being human empathy forgiveness kindness and compassion welcome to mml's online video series on emotional intelligence and life skills the thoughts shared in this video are from the founder of mml mr hemant lavangare what does it mean by being human being human is about being emotionally intelligent it is about being graceful in forgiving it is about being kind and compassionate what separates human beings from other animals is not only feeling others pain and helping fellow beings but also working towards the welfare and sustainability of the universe that's the responsibility mother nature has bestowed on the human race one of the pillars of emotional intelligence is empathy but we can't look at empathy in isolation the goal is to be human the supreme species in the universe the caretaker of the universe it can be achieved through first being empathetic without empathy you cannot forgive with forgiveness you show kindness and kindness is the foundation of compassion let us briefly discuss each of the components of being human empathy humans are social creatures to live survive develop relationships and be happy we need to be empathetic empathy helps connect people moving them toward each other in a helping and or healing capacity as a claimed author and leadership expert stephen covey stated when you show deep empathy toward others their defensive energy goes down and positive energy replaces it that's when you can get more creative in solving problems empathy is not as much about being nice as it is about making positive and meaningful connections with people and it begins with the connection you have to yourself empathy can be categorized into cognitive empathy and emotional or affective empathy with cognitive empathy you are trying to tap into the idea of placing yourself in someone else's situation and gaining a better understanding of their perspective experience and world view emotional or affective empathy takes it a step further in addition to understanding an affective empath also feels other people's emotions to have affective empathy is to share their grief suffering and joy this helps you build an emotional connection with others and truly relate to their feelings There are many social and developmental influences a person can have that can result in a lack of empathy. They include blind obedience to authority, having a strong belief system or ideology, and in-group or out-group relations. The absence of parental love and severe maltreatment in childhood might result in a person lacking empathy. But there are ways one can become a better empathetic person. If you would like to learn more about how can you become a more empathetic being, please watch MML's video on strategies to improve empathy. The real power of harnessing empathy is in the ability to forgive. Developing empathy is a necessary step in forgiveness. What exactly is forgiveness? Forgiveness in a psychological sense is the intentional and voluntary process by which one who may initially feel victimized or hurt undergoes a change in feelings and attitude regarding a given offense and the offender and overcomes negative emotions such as resentment and vengeance. Forgiveness also applies to self. You need to forgive yourself to free yourself from the burden to guilt and regrets. At the end of this video, I will be narrating a story from the life of Buddha that will illustrate the real meaning of forgiveness. If you would like to learn more about forgiveness, please watch MML's video on how forgiveness works. What is kindness? Kindness is a benevolent and helpful action intentionally directed towards another person. 
It is motivated by the desire to help another and not to gain explicit reward or to avoid explicit punishment. Kindness is the foundation of a fulfilling and contributing life. My religion is very simple. My religion is kindness. Dalai Lama The more you nurture a feeling of kindness, the happier and calmer you will be. Dalai Lama Be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. Dalai Lama The best way to understand kindness is to practice kindness. What is compassion? Compassion involves feeling another person's pain and wanting to take steps to help relieve their suffering. The word compassion itself derives from Latin and actually means to suffer together. Compassion comes in two forms. Compassion for others. When you experience compassion for other people, you feel their pain and want to find a way to relieve their suffering. These feelings compel you to take action to do what you can make the situation better. Self-compassion This involves treating yourself with the same compassion and kindness that you would show to others. Rather than beating yourself up over mistakes you may have made in the past, you feel understanding. I would like to conclude this video with a story from the life of Buddha that will illustrate compassion and forgiveness. Once Buddha was in an assembly when a man walked in looking furious. He thought Buddha was doing something wrong. He was drawing a huge crowd and people would just go to him and meditate. He was a restless businessman and he had found that his children were spending their time with Buddha when they could have engaged themselves in business, making more money and ensuring their livelihood. He felt that spending four hours of their day seated next to someone whose eyes were always closed was a complete waste of time. With anger in his heart, he walked confidently up to Buddha to teach him a lesson. As soon as he approached Buddha, seeing his persona, all his thoughts disappeared but the anger in him did not dissipate. He was shaking and he found himself speechless. Since he was unable to express his emotions in words, he simply spat on Buddha's face. Buddha in return smiled simply. His disciples who were sitting with him were furious. They wanted to react but the Buddha's presence didn't allow them to do so. And this man could not stay longer either. He noticed his action had not drawn any reaction from the people around him. And the Buddha had simply smiled in return. So he walked away. Once he returned, he could not erase the image of the smiling Buddha from his mind. For the first time in his life, he had met someone who had such an extraordinary reaction to such a disrespectful act. He could not sleep all night and his mind transformed. The next day, he went and fell at Buddha's feet and said, Please forgive me. I did not know what I was doing. To which Buddha replied, Why should I excuse you when you have not done anything wrong? The businessman replied, Yesterday, I came to this assembly and in my anger, I spat on your face. I am the same person. Buddha said, That person is not here anymore. If I ever meet the person on whom you spat, I will tell him to excuse you. For me, you are wonderful. You have done nothing wrong. And today, you are not the same person as yesterday. The lesson to be learned here is about compassion and forgiveness. When do we truly forgive a person? True forgiveness is when you forgive a person and that person does not even know that he is being forgiven. The person should not feel guilty for his deed. This is the right kind of forgiveness. If you forgive a person and keep reminding him about his mistake and make him feel guilty all the time, then you have simply not forgiven him yet. 
The root of compassion is an empathy, forgiveness, kindness and intention to help others relieve their sufferings and be better human beings. The lessons from Vedanta teach us that we are all one. We are all a part of pure divine consciousness. Once we have this realization, being human, being empathetic, forgiving, kind and compassionate seems the only path we can walk on. Hope now you have a holistic perspective on being human. Keep watching MML videos to enhance your emotional intelligence, life skills and be a better human being.